Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Thursday morning. Now, if you haven't heard the news yet, yesterday, Marvel Studios announced that the next Spider-Man actor will be 19-year-old Tom Holland. Now, he's the third actor to play the superhero after Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have already reprised that role. And, of course, people have had their say... Dude, look so at it. Is that a pimple on his chin? <laughs> what is that? That's his he won't be Spider-Man. He'll be like... <laughs> He'll be the new Spidey. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's cool. Young. I mean, you've got to be young. You've got to be kind of a geeky kind of hero to play the Spider-Man role. But I think the big online reaction has come that in the comic book series, they, they did take a bit of a turn. Now, we've seen the same Spider-Man story play out now with Tobey Maguire, with um, Andrew Garfield. So I think a lot of the fans of the comic wanted them to see the, the alternate universe Spider-Man come out. Um, and he is obviously a lot more socially and politically correct. He is kind of of a, a, a half Latino <laughs> black guy that, um, oh, that's really cute, David. It's off. There's our new um, Spider Man right there. Very proud <laughs> dad. But, um, I think a lot of the, the, the hardcore fans of the comic book series wanted to see a deeper evolution into the, um, you know, the, the actual comic book itself. But this is the young man who's got yeah. the role. Yeah. But this is what people have been tweeting. So Dave Itzkov, obviously a big fan of the movie, says Marvel has found its new Spider Man. Cute, he was man. born at 10 a.m. today. So cute. And then uh, somebody called Jeremy C. Uh, Ship said, let's see, I'd watch a Miles Morales Spider Man movie, but not this. Tired of the plethora of uh, straight white male superheroes spewing from Hollywood. People want to see saying, a black yes. superhero. It, don't, don't mess with the comic book fan, though. Don't man. mess don't with mess it. With but it would have been nice if they could have introduced Miles, the, the character of Miles. That would have been cool. I that would have been cool. Yeah. So maybe, maybe the Hollywood producers need to come down to South Africa <laughs> and just kind of check out the talent here, you know? I think maybe Sebastian, maybe. Uh, who do you think, who do you think well, would make a good... Well, for me, I think maybe Maurice Page. I think he's got hey. that triple threat to him. Yeah, so, you know, he's got he, the martial arts background. He's buffed yeah. up. He the can muscles, do his own stunts yeah. as well as, you know, I mean, he's not bad to look at. <laughs> <laughs> what about Fomla Dandala? Hey, he's got yeah. the acting experience. He's the leading man. Hey, I've seen him box as well. He's got a little bit of moves there. Hey? Oh, look, if, I reckon if the Daily Show doesn't work out, maybe Trevor Noah, even him, he can be the new <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah? Imagine him. He's got that Spider-Man smile like he's about to squirt something in your eye. Look at that. Like just, uh, just, <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, let us know. Uh, do you agree with the new selection of this, this cast member? Who would you like to choose to be our own very, uh, our, our very own South African Rabubi? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, while you're thinking about that, let's right now take out or take a look at the top five movies at the box office before we chat about the movies releasing.